What is up? This is your LA in a minute and every day in Los Angeles, nearly 3 million vehicles traverse the 650 miles of freeways that make up this complex transportation network. This is a true marvel of engineering, but even more so when you consider that our freeways are based on indigenous travel routes and footpaths. Well, many of us are back on the freeways after a holiday respite from that grind of commuting. But have you ever sat in traffic and wondered what stood here before? LA in a Minute Instagram blogger Evan Lovett knows LA freeway trivia and joined us with some fascinating facts every driver ought to know while navigating the city. Evan, great to see you again. Great to see you again, Lisa. Thank you so much for having me on again. We're sitting in traffic again, yeah. and you're telling us that instead of being enraged, as we often are, we should actually stop and be impressed. There are more than 30 major freeways, um, over 100 different interchanges, and there's over 500 miles of freeway in Los Angeles and 20,000 miles of roads. And when you really think about how that network is all connected, it's truly mind-blowing. It really is. One of the things I love about your LA in a Minute uh, vlog, though, Evan, is that you give us the history and the backstory and some perspective on what we see every day in Los Angeles. Similar stories throughout history mapped against the Native American trade routes prove that these were really the precursor to today's freeways. So even going back down to uh, Junipero Serra and the Spanish conquistadors, that El Camino Real was actually based on a system of footpaths and roadways that were laid out by the native people in Los Angeles. It was the Gabrieleno and the Kiz people who um, are also known as the Tongva natives. And what they had was a network of interconnected footpaths that helped uh, with the microclimates that we have, exchanging of foods from one area to another. Intermarriage was encouraged. Food scarcity resources were all enabled because of these extant footpaths, which were based on the natural contours of what's in Los Angeles, the rivers, the mountains, uh, and, the, and the hills. So next time you're driving along our freeways or even stuck in traffic, think of the indigenous people because they created these footpaths and trade routes that are the lifeblood of Los Angeles transportation to this day. You say that archaeologists have proof. Even as recently as 2019, when they were doing that, I think it was a $2 billion expansion on the 405 freeway, they had to halt everything because they found a Native American burial ground. And so they found the bones, and so they tracked down ancestors who were sort of going through records, both written and oral, to kind of prove, you know, this was indeed a cemetery right off the side of the 405. And now what that ended up turning into is that was a system of little paths and tributaries. And that's where they do almost every time that there's freeway construction. The last major freeway construction was the 210. There is some sort of discovery, shards of pottery or something representing the trade or the native people that were here first uh, in their indigenous land. Right on those roads that prove that the freeways before they were there, they were actually the roads and the footpaths utilized by the indigenous people. When people move to Southern California, one of the ways they get to know the roads are from those eyes in the sky, those local traffic reporters for local news stations. And one of the ones that is mentioned literally every uh, broadcast is the Sepulveda Pass. It has a history. Now, that's a great one that ties everything together. And get this, when Portola himself wanted to explore the inland of what would become Los Angeles, and he ran into the high, steep bluffs of the Palisades, he was shown an internal route by the native folk that we know today as the Sepulveda Pass. So uh, the Portola Expedition, one of the famous expeditions that sort of set the, uh, the modern West Coast of the United States on the path that it is today, now, they had initially tried to come ashore at the Palisades, the huge bluffs and the cliffs by the Palisades. And they were like, look, we're not going to get on shore there. They ended up docking their, their boats and their ships. And the native people, who obviously didn't know that they were, you know, what they were really in for, were like, hey, these are guests. They were very hospitable. And they actually showed them an easier way inland, which happened to be what we know now as the Sepulveda Pass. And that became a very important thoroughfare through today. You know, now obviously it's a freeway and the tunnel and traffic, but that was initially, quote unquote, discovered by the Portola expedition. And since then, that's been the main way to get from the west side to the valley or to get north through Los Angeles. This is the really important question that we all have about driving in SoCal. 
And it was exemplified on Saturday Night Live in the Californian sketch. I'd get up at 6 a.m., take the 118 East to the 405 North, get on the 5, and then take that to the 210 all the way out to Rancho Cucamonga. Why do we put the word the in front of all of our freeway numbers? Well, this is beautiful. Los Angeles was the home of the first, appropriately enough, the first freeway in the United States, the Arroyo Seco. And all of our freeways, because we were the first to kind of have that template and model before Eisenhower mandated a highway system, they were called the San Diego Freeway, the Pasadena Freeway, the Ventura Freeway. So they were named after the locales they were either coming from or going to. And once everything became codified into a number system, people from Los Angeles were still used to saying the. So the San Diego Freeway became the 405. The Ventura Freeway became the 101. And that's just stuck in our vernacular ever since then. The Evan Lovett solving some of the mysteries of the universe, or at least the Southland, in his vlog, LA in a Minute. Thank you so much, Evan. Thank you, Lisa. Have a great year, everybody in Los Angeles.